Does everyone have their stuff ready to go? I am gonna put my black paint on my palette. Okay. Okay. We're going to put our paint on now. Okay, perfect. Okay, so the first step um, is to, I'm just putting my black on for now until I am ready for my next colors. Um, you can get your paintbrush a little wet if you need to, just to kind of, um, so it's not so stiff. And if you need to thin your paint a little bit, but I wouldn't get it too wet. Um, just kind of damp. And then it's gonna paint like long strokes across. And this part is kind of tedious, but this is how you get like a nice black background. You may have to go over it a few times to get it super dark and evenly coated. I'm confused. Okay. Uh, so what are we doing again? Sorry, I'm just really forgetful. No, that's okay. Um, so do you have your black paint on your foam palette? Uh, how do I get it on there is the problem. Oh, just... There should have been like a little, it may look like this. It's a palette knife. It might've just been long and straight. Mm -hmm. um, so you'll just scoop out your paint with that to put it on your palette. If you wanna pour it, you can, but this way it's not so drippy on the sides of the container. Um, but it's, if it's easier for you to just pour it, that's fine too. Okay. Okay. Like I said, this part does is kind of tedious. You're just painting the whole thing black. So I like to go long, even strokes. Um, but if you want to do shorter strokes or um, make swirls, whatever is more fun for you for this part, it's just so it's solid black. So we're just like painting it how, so we're just gonna paint it so long, so to make it solid black, basically? Yes. Yeah, that's what we're doing for this part is just painting it so it's solid black. Okay. Okay. Everyone have a nice spring break. Did you guys do anything fun or read anything interesting? Yeah, this is gonna take a while. 
I know it does take a few minutes to get it all covered. Cover it, yeah. <laughs> I try to use like extra paint, but like instead of like big blobs, like I use yeah. big blobs to just brush around without using any more paint or something like that. Gotcha. Yeah, if that's how you want to do it, that's fine. Um, Should we paint the sides or is it like whatever you want to do? It's whatever you want to do. I painted my sides just to, uh, on my sample one. So I'm going to paint my sides. I think I like the way it looks. And because you see like it's, you know, I kind of got it all over anyway. So then at least it's even, but whatever you want to do. Um, this black enough? Yeah. Oh, Liam, I'm sorry that you got paint with Frida. Um, I am not sure what they're doing with that program, with that. Um, we do still have the kits here. I don't, um, I, you'll still be able to do it. Or you can watch today just to get an idea and the instructions are in the bag. I'm really sorry about that. There was some confusion um, with the painting kits, I guess. Also, um, Guppel Story Time here in the background. We are also planning on posting this recording. So, if you wanted to pick up a, a kit um, and then watch the recording of it after that recording is live, that's another option that you have to. Thanks, Katie. Is it okay to accidentally get the newspaper wet? Yeah. yeah. And uh, you should get it back. Is it, it was yeah. the thing. Okay. We don't talk anymore. We're not muted. <laughs> How's everyone doing? Good. We still have a lot of painting to to get it solid. Part of my part is becoming a bit too globby. I added too much, so I'm like trying to remove because it's like got these like hunks that are just like sitting there, and I'm like, mm, that's, that's a bit much. You can probably, um, I think you can use the palette knife to scrape it. Um, okay. So I just did that, and it it does scrape it, but it scrapes. You, you just might have to repaint a little bit too, okay? Yeah, okay. If it goes, but I mean, at least then it gets your globs off. Like, it's hard to do it because like right when you paint, sometimes like the, the, your paintbrush moves the other paint making it white again. Yeah. Yeah, you just have to do a couple of coats. I have that happening too. Or like as it starts to dry, it doesn't settle into every little nook and cranny of the canvas. Yeah. I'm just trying to like come when my hands are drying and start to just uh, what are you guys doing? I was going to dry my black paint. What am I going to do? I'm sorry. Um, what are you guys doing right now? I was drawing my black paint. You're drawing your black paint right now? I drew my black paint. Yeah, you can, if you're done painting it black, you can dry it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
prank call? No. I'm not doing that. Oh. I never even used my scraper yet. Really nice. Mm -hmm. so, she did a great job. Um, yeah, um, so you said you're a lap you're loud too. Yeah, it just, they're uh, not to. You, you, yep. Yeah, it's close to Thank you. Um, I put too much of the black paint onto the uh, foam board thingy. And I don't think there's going to be room for the other colors if we ever put them on. So I'm just going to put it on the newspaper, okay? Okay, that's fine. Or you can try to scrape it into, um, you know, with the palette knife into a corner. Oh, yeah, that's actually kind of working well. Okay. Okay. Um, did everyone have a blow dryer to use today? If you want to raise your hand, if you have one, um, just that way, if it's easier, if you guys all have them, then we'll just wait a few minutes. I'll start um, doing mine. I, I won't, I can show you the Among Us Ghost at the end if that's what you want to do. So looks like most of you have blow dryers. Yes. Yeah, I have one. Yeah, okay. Okay, perfect. Um, I have then, okay, yeah, so if you wanna, if we, we can just- um, How do we blow dry? dry? How do you blow dry? Um, just plug it in and, or have an adult plug, help you plug it in, um, whatever you guys are comfortable with. And then um, I would probably blow dry it on low and just leave it at least a few inches away from the canvas, but just to kind of get your paint dry so it doesn't um, blur too much. You're going to be adding some black paint on top of your color. What but do you have to do so that it doesn't blur too much? Sorry. No, that's okay. That, that's why we're blow drying it so that the paint dries.
How is everyone doing? Still finishing up um, with the black and then blow drying or almost done. Is anyone done blow drying yet? Yeah, I'm done blow drying. Okay. Okay. We're just going to give everyone a couple more minutes to finish up. Okay. With the black and the blow drying. It's okay. Does everyone just need a couple more? Most of you just need a couple more minutes. Can I go get my blow dryer? Absolutely. Does this look good? It looks great. Looks really good. Um, so while you're finishing up, if you have any painting of the black paint left to do and blow drying, um, our next step is going to be to adding your colored paints to your palette. Um, you can use the palette knife or pour. Um, if you use the palette knife, make sure that it's pretty, like you get most of the wet black paint off. Um, we will end up adding some black over the colors, um, but you don't want to mix them initially.
we should have um, three different colors of like blue to bluish green and then one that's very obviously blue um, and a pink or magenta and purple and then white. I have a well. question. Sure. Does this look all dry? Um, I can't totally tell from this angle. If it's not you, I think it's just the camera. It looks pretty dry. Does it look like from you? Does it look like there, if there are any like shiny parts? I don't know if you could see how mine still has some parts that are kind of shiny. Like mine is not dry all the way is yet. This shiny, this part? Um, it looks like it might be a little shiny still, yes. Okay, I'm going to turn this back on now. Okay. Where are you going to post the video on? YouTube? Um, I believe. Katie, do you know? Yeah, so we'll post the video on YouTube, and you should also see that come up on our um, Facebook and Instagram, probably, but definitely YouTube for sure. Thank you. And then, Jackie, you have some friends in the chat who have said that they're done, so. Okay. So you know. Okay, awesome. All right. Um, so if you're done, go ahead and start putting your paint on your palette. Just keep on washing. Because in my class, I have to stay here. It has to be like about toothbrush size, so you're gonna have to wait for me to be done. Is it you have to do it just like with the toothbrush? Like, what's wrong with this paint? Some of the paints are a little bit thicker. Um, it's just because I got different brands. So some are more runny and some are thicker. We no. Don't you have any patience in you? You just mix it. There, what harm did you what harm happened to you? Did you die? No. Did it take any time? No. How many like tips are in the I'm sorry? Do you have any like tips and techniques on making the galaxy? Yeah, um, I'll kind of go over that with you too. So for this part, you're going to use a sponge um, and you, I forgot to put my weight out here one sec. Paint everywhere. Those are the five feathers. And then I'm adding white. Okay, um, so you should have some like, they look like little pieces of cardboard almost, they're the sponges, and you have to get those wet um, to make them look like a sponge. And then, yeah, squeeze it out so it's it can be a little bit damp, but to get most of the excess water out. Is everyone ready 
to start with like the colors of the galaxy? Yep. Yeah, okay. Is there anyone that's not ready? If you're not ready, you can unmute or raise your hand or put it in chat. So what we're gonna do right now is gonna use our tiny brush to do tiny strokes for multiple different colors to make it. No, first, we're going to use our sponge oh. now. So you're going to um, dip the corner of your sponge in like whichever color. I'm going to start with the like magenta pink. And then you're going to um, dip it the other like side of the corner, that same corner in white. And then you're just going to go kind of in a diagonal because galaxies are kind of, you know, they're kind of like a swirly pattern. You want to dab it and not smudge it so much. Can you explain that again? Yeah, so you're going to um, dip part of your sponge in, um, oh gosh, sorry, in pink and then like nearby that same corner in the white. Yeah, you're supposed to use a sponge. Okay, and then um, you don't want it to be super thick on there. And then you're gonna dab in like a diagonal across your canvas. It's super thick. Look at that. That's a galaxy. I'm making something, okay? Dark actually don't listen to this. I wasting for the black thing. Wasting for the black thing. Okay, and you're gonna kind of keep dabbing on it so it's um kind of blurs into the black, you're obviously still going to see some color. And we're going to end up adding more black over it at some point to make it a little more muted as well. And it doesn't have to be as thick as this. It can be thinner. It can be thicker. Um, this part is kind of however you want to do it. Um, but you're with this, you'll keep going. So if you want to go on to your next color when you're ready, um, you know, one corner in whatever color you choose and then the other corner in the white. That's why I gave you two sponges. So it's a little, you have a little more space to work with um, instead of having to like rinse and worry that you're gonna get your colors super muckied up. My, mine looks kind of smudged. Like, I don't know if you can see it. Oops. It's very, very smudged. Okay. Like, um, I don't, like I accidentally made my sponge like this. Okay. That's okay. Um, you can either switch to another corner or if you want to rinse off your sponge. Um, but make sure that you're not like rubbing it like this. Make sure you're like dotting, dotting it, like up and down dotting it. Does that make sense? So make sure you're picking it up every time instead of like, I've done that too, where I've forgotten to pick it up and kind of just rubbed it along and then I get smudgy areas too. And that's okay. Okay, so okay. I'm gonna use another corner of the sponge now. So yeah, that's fine. I have two galaxy pieces you could see at the bottom of my board, and I'm gonna have like this big piece at the top. Okay. That sounds good. You could do it however you want it, okay? Any day now.
What are we going to use the toothbrush for? Um, after we're done doing these like galaxy colors, we'll use the toothbrush and um, we'll put it in white paint and you're going to kind of like flick it to make like little dots, which are supposed to be like small stars. When I said a big galaxy last time, this is what I mean by a big galaxy at the top. That looks really good. That's awesome. I'm done. Who's done? Emily? Can I see? That looks awesome. That looks so good. Um, let me do a little bit more of this color and then I'll show you. Um, actually, here I can show you on the pink. Should we put like all the colors? What do you mean? Like, should we do like the blues and the purples and the, like? Yeah, yeah, if you're going along faster than I am, that's totally fine. Or if you don't wanna use all the colors, you don't have to. Um, like this was my sample one and I did use all the colors, um, but you don't have to. Okay, so if, if anyone, um, I'm gonna show you, that way, Emily, you can work on this part if you want. If you wanna do another corner of your sponge in the black, and if anyone else is at this point, once you're done with like your colored stripes and getting those kind of blended, you're also, you can add some more black to the edges of those colored stripes. I don't know if you can see like it just kind of blurs it into the background just a little bit. So it's still there, but it softens it. Can you see that? I can't really see the white. You can't see the white? On mine or on yours? And yours. So my white for the, um, I kind of blended it in. Can you see it now? Oops. I could see a little bit of it before, but it's not that much, it looks like. Yeah, you. it's kind of however you want to do it. You can do more white or less white. Um, it's just to kind of give it so that there are some brighter pinks or blues or whatever color you've mixed it with and then like some that are deeper. So you don't have to clearly see the white because you're actually, we're gonna, on this other one, like all these little white spots and stripes, those, um, that's from the toothbrush, that white. But it's just so, I don't know if you could see like how some parts of this are a little bit more of a dark magenta-y and then some of them are a little bit lighter that's where the white had come in. Um, uh, so like, can I, I'm like done with the galaxy. Do you think I should try mixing the colors to make like a sun in it? Like the sun in the galaxy? If you want, you can do that. Um, you can, um, want, if you wanna try to make a planet or, um, I was at the end going to show you, I don't know if you play Among Us, but I was going to um, oh, try yeah. to do like. Yeah, my brother wanted... said that looked like an Among Us, like a person from Among Us. Yeah, I was going to, once um, we're done with the galaxy and the colors, I can show you, you should have this paper in your kit. Oops, sorry. And then um, a piece of tracing paper. I'll show you how to trace it on there and you can put a, an Among Us ghost on there. But if you don't want to, you don't have to, that's an optional part of it. You can make a sun or planets or um, like kind of like bigger stars like this with the white paints. Um, I have a question about the Among Us ghost. Sure. Can you use the stencil multiple times if you want multiple ghosts? Um, I think you could. 
because what you're going to do is you'll put the um, the black, this tracing paper, the shiny side will go down. And I made the ghost small. Um, so that way, like you can trace it more than once. So if you wanted to put like one floating up in a corner, wherever you want to place them, um, you'll just use, make sure you use a ballpoint pen. Oops. And then you'll just trace over those thick lines. It is going to be a little hard to see the lines just because you're doing black on black. Um, but that's okay. like, you'll be able to see them enough and then you'll, here, I'll do one on here. Let me see this. Does it come with the kit? Yeah, it should be in your kit. I think I had them mostly kind of behind the canvas so that they didn't get bent. If, you know, when you, when it was all still in the bag. Okay. So you'll just, like I said, the shiny side of the tracing paper facing your canvas. And then you can place your ghost wherever you're, you want it. And then you're going to use a pen and just kind of press hard. You don't have to do the whole thickness as long as you have the, like a general outline. And then you can do um, like where the shadows are, just kind of go still hard, but keep that line thin. Specially decorated, so I'm going to need to have a small yeah, one. Okay. And then it's going to be hard to see um, on mine, like see my tracing, but I can see it. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to use, I think, this thin paintbrush. And I'm going to use black to like retrace to outline the ghost with paint so it's easier to see. Uh, I'm done with like putting the black around like the, uh, what are they called? The, uh, Northern Lights, I think. The galaxy. Okay. You, you're done with the, like the black on the color. Mm -hmm. Did you put repeat the, um, okay. Among Us steps? I was blow drying that thing in. Oh, sure. The, on how to trace it. So for the, the Among Us part is optional. If you want to do it, you can. If not, that's okay too. Oops, okay. Um, so you will put the, the black, the carbon paper, shiny side down. Um, and then you'll place your ghost on top of it. Where So you can put it this way to cover your whole canvas. You just have to decide where you're going to want your ghost. Um, so I already did one over here. I'm going to put one over here now just to show you again. And then you're going to use a ballpoint pen um, and then just trace over the lines of your ghost, I, like over the thick line. And this will um, put like a thin black line onto your canvas of the outline of the ghost. Uh, so what do I do when I'm done with the black on the color? Does it look how you want it to look? Do you like how it looks? Yep. You can, okay, I say if you want, you can also build more color onto that if you want to, but that's, you don't have to. Um, once you're done with the black on the color, if you want to blow dry it so it dries faster, if you wanted to do this Among Us ghost, if you don't want to do the Among Us ghost, um, you can um, just do like starbursts. Oops. Um, 
Okay, sorry. Um, so if you were gonna do your ghost tracing, you'll um, put your black carbon paper shiny side down and then place the yeah. ghost where you want it. Yeah, you already okay. explained that. I know someone else had asked me to repeat it. Okay. Um, so then you'll have that thin black line. Um, so um, I'm gonna use this small, tiny paintbrush to make detailed planets on my okay. paint, on my galaxy. That sounds awesome. Did you already do this, like the spray stars with your toothbrush? No, and I have no idea how to do that. Okay, so you'll just, um, your, your hands are gonna get dirty if they're not dirty already. Um, you'll just dip your toothbrush in white paint. The bristles really in white paint. <laughs> Same. <laughs> and then you um, will just kind of flick it. Let me get your toothbrush a little wet. Just a little wet. And then dip it in the paint. Okay. And if you can see, it's making like really fine. <clears throat> white dots. So it's just supposed to look like really tiny stars. My painting accidentally got wet. Oh, okay. Like the whole painting? No. I put too much paint on my thing and I've got a bunch of big white splatters on it now. Okay. Um, can I see? Uh, I'm going to see if we can troubleshoot it. Probably not. Okay. Like, because there's a big one in the middle, as you can see. Don't ask me how I got okay. that. No, that's okay. Um, you know what you can try to do is maybe um, take your sponge again and um, dip it in whatever color you want and try to kind of blur over that white so it's not such a big white chunk. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. And then you can do repeat with that black on the edges around it to kind of blur it into your black too. So it fades in a little bit. Yeah. Okay. How do you put the Among Us ghost on top of your painting? How do you put the Among Us ghost on top of your painting? Yeah. Okay. Um, so I would, is your painting dry? Do you, did you blow dry it again? Um, no. Okay, where, can, I'm sorry, I don't know who was talking, is it Hassan? Yes. Okay, can you show me where you're at with your painting? You did all your colors that you wanted to do, right? Okay, cool. And then did you do the part with the toothbrush where you get it a little bit damp um, no. with your water? You didn't do that? Do you want to do that part? Um, so I basically just put white paint on it? Yeah, so, okay, right. before you do the Among Us ghost part, you're going to get your toothbrush a little bit wet. Um, and then if it's too, you can like kind of blot it off so it's not too wet. And then put, dip it in the white paint. And then I just spray it over my canvas. Like yeah, and then you just kind of, you with your finger, you, you see what I'm doing with the toothbrush? Just kind of spraying it so there's like little white dots. And you can do it like thicker in places. I'm done with that. Okay. And then if you, you can also with your little paintbrush, um, if you want to make bigger. Little stars. Yeah, you could make little stars or just like a little bit bigger. Like if you just want to do like a little bit bigger of dots, you could do that to be like bigger stars. You can also do like a starburst kind of thing, almost like an asterisk. Or if you want to make a star, you can do that like a, my paint is not dry yet. So I just blurred my blue into it, but that's fine. Um, you can also, like this part is kind of just however you want to do it. Once you've done your galaxy, if you want to add any extra details, you can um, 
if you wanted to try to like paint a planet, you could do that. I haven't painted a planet, so I don't know if it's gonna look good, but that's okay. 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 Mm -hmm. and you could probably, if you wanted to do, Sorry, but how do you paint the, how do you do the stars with the toothbrush? Oh, so you dip your toothbrush mm -hmm. in water um, so it's a little wet and then blot it out so it's not like drippy wet. Um, you can kind of blot it, rub it on your um, newspaper or if you have a paper towel and then you dip it in your white paint and then um, you like kind of use your thumb to flick it and those will give you really like fine stars. You can also do it this way, either way. You see how there's like little white spots now? And you can do that as much or as little as you want. Um, if you have your paint too thick on there, it will make bigger globs, which is fine because then it's just bigger stars, but. Does everyone feel pretty comfortable about how to do the toothbrush kind of stars and what um, they can do with other like individual designs if you wanna do planets? I was actually gonna say um, you can also, you know how like the moon has craters, you can probably use your sponge to like give some different texture to your planet. For me. Rings on it. What do you mean by starburst? Oh, so um, just kind of like like just kind of like bigger kind of star looking things. Okay. Okay. I'm done okay. With the stars. Now, what would I do? You're done with this. With yeah. what part of the stars? With the small brush or with the toothbrush? With the toothbrush. And okay. I don't want to add any with the small brush. Okay, you don't have to. Um, so now it's up to you. If you want to leave your galaxy just plain, you could do that. If you did want to add the stars with the toothbrush, if you want to paint like a planet, sun. I just put my Among Us ghost onto that black onto that black paper. Now, how would I put it onto my painting? Okay, so you did the part where you you traced your Among Us ghost onto your canvas? No, I traced my Among Us ghost on that black paper. Oh, um, did you have the black paper on top of your canvas? No. Okay. Um, oh my gosh, where did it go? Do I have to do it on? Do I have to write it on top of my canvas? Yeah. So the. Okay. Black, oh my gosh, here it is. Um, if your is your canvas dry? Yes. Yes. Okay. So the black paper, put it so the shiny side. This, if you can see, this part's not shiny. This part is shiny. Put the shiny side down onto your canvas. Okay. So the shiny side will be facing your canvas. And then put your ghost. Place it. it. Yeah, you're just gonna trace it. So put, place it wherever you want it to go and then trace it with your pen. And then this, what this does is that push, um, the, this black carbon paper transfers the tracing of it onto your canvas. Um, since I finished my uh, thing, oh, what should I do? Um, I did you add any extra designs you wanted to add? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. So if you're finished, um, you can sign off if you want, or if you have any questions, then um, that's fine. But if you're if you're done, then that's fine too. You can um, log out. Okay. Okay. Do you know what to do with your minus thing? One sec. Oh, Amelia, what that looks really good. Fine. That looks awesome. Bye. And then Bye. Hey, if um, anyone wants to email um, a picture, that would be awesome. I'll put my email in the chat, okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. Right, before you leave, before you leave. Thank you. Bye. Wait, wait, because if you leave, I can't. Can oh. you email the participants your um, email? Add, yeah. Because in the chat, I can't get it out of the chat. Yeah, you want me to email? I'll yeah, send yeah, you email the group. That would be a better chance yeah, of getting absolutely. a photo sent to you. Or you, um, I sent an email yesterday from oh, my email. It was Jackie at Jekyll.org. Okay, Jekyll. cool. So that's me. I can, I'll. Um, oh, that's perfect. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, awesome. Oh, Thank you bye. so much. Bye. bye. Does anyone else have any other questions? Can I show you mine? Absolutely, I'd love to see it. That looks awesome. Thank you. Looks so good, I love it. Can I show you mine, because I'm done? Yeah. yeah, for sure. All right. That looks really good too. You guys did awesome. Thank you. <laughs> thank you for coming. Bye, thank you. Bye, thank you. Liam, do you have any questions or need any help? No. No, can I see yours or no? No. No, okay. Sam, how about you? You're not, you're, you're muted still. Sam, you're muted. Oh. I'm trying to mix colors together to get a sun color. Oh, okay. It's ended up quite gray, so I don't think there's going to be a sun's galaxy. Gotcha. So, and, so I think I'm just going to add a couple black holes. Oh, that sounds awesome. Can, can I see how it looks so far? Let me to pick it up for you. Yeah. Yeah. That looks awesome. I love it. And, did you see those like three big dots in the corner? Yeah. Those were the planets that I was trying to make. That looks so good. Is Annie all done with hers? <laughs> she is. This, is, this yeah. is hers. She made a rainbow in it. I love that. That's awesome. <laughs> Yeah, this is this is a pretty good black hole gray. Yeah. It's like a grayish purple, you might say. Yeah, very cool. Because I accidentally did add a little bit of purple. Yeah, that's okay. It sounds awesome. Annie, I love your painting, Annie. It looks really good. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, because this is a grayish purple, I think it's gonna stand out on the black. Yeah. But yeah, I did add a little bit of white too, so it should stand out. Awesome. Yep. You, you can always, off. if you it just want like it really, on, oh, go ahead, sorry. It's just like a really dark purple, you could say. Okay. 
If you wanted to on the edges of your black hole, you could use your sponge again with the black paint to kind of make it so the edges blur in too, or not, whatever you think would look best. Yeah, I'm just making planet shaped things of this grayish purple as black holes. <laughs> yeah. I don't do, do not know how to do that, but it's kind of. Did you do the edges of your um, like galaxy colors when you so you dip the black your sponge in the black paint and then kind of blot it off and then like just dab it on the edges. So if you have like a yeah. Purple, black hole. I do have a leftover sponge, but it is soaking wet. Here, you could use Annie's. I don't think she used it. <laughs> it's okay, Mom. Okay. I have another sponge, though. I'm just going to grab that. Mom, you can see this? It's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, let me see. So, I'm just going to take out this sponge. On YouTube, what is it going to be named this class? Oh, um, I think it'll be Paint with Friends Galaxy. Does that sound right, Katie? Because that's the name of the program. Yep, and it should be um, posted in a couple of days. So definitely check there on YouTube. You'll find it'll be one of the first things you'll see on that YouTube channel. I just lost my Zoom. Um, oh, my mom. oh, it's back. Okay. Something just wants to come loose. What's that circle supposed to be by that star? I don't know. Um, I could make it a planet. What does a black hole look like? Could it be a black hole? What do you think? Sure. Sure. Okay. This part I'm kind of just doing on my own. So like I said, you can make a planet if you want to try that. Um, you can just make stars. Um, so black holes, I used a sponge with black paint and like swirled it around in them. And now okay. it looks like they're actually sucking in the galaxy. Oh yeah, awesome. Can I see? Because the mix of the purple for black, it got this like purple swirl. Okay. Okay, it's coming up. That looks awesome. Great job.